Hi there, Sparkson here. You might remember me from the critically acclaimed documentary Sparkson and Clarkson Search for the Sasquatch. I am here to address you, the viewer, today because you have expressed concerns that our encounter with the creature depicted in the film was a construct, that it wasn't real, that it was a man in a mask. Now, I feel that you, the viewer, deserves the truth. And that truth is... The Sasquatch is real! In addition, Sasquatch is a threat and shouldn't be taken lightly. That's why I've taken the time to make this video to answer the questions that you, the viewers, have written in. For example, Fry B. Pemberton asks, I saw a creature in the woods and I called out to it by name. It didn't respond. Was this Sasquatch? Well, Fry, since it also goes by the name Sasquatch, it's really impossible to say. Jimmy Pizzone also thinks that he saw something. In his letter, he writes Sparkson. What are some of the identifying features of the Sasquatch, which will allow me to confirm or deny whether or not I actually saw the legendary creature? Well, Jimmy, let me ask you this. Did it walk with a strange lumbering gait? Did it give off a very offensive aroma? Did it have big feet? Because if so, the answer is probably no. You did not have a Bigfoot encounter. What you more likely saw was a silverback gorilla. You see, Jimmy, silverback gorillas are very common to boreal forests in North America, very common sighting. And in addition, due to their big feet and their love of peanut butter, they are very often confused for the Sasquatch. You gotta trust me on these things. I know what I'm talking about. I wear glasses. Tommy DeLuca asks in his letter, if Bigfoot is a real creature, how would it have let itself get captured on film by filmmakers as inept as you guys? Well, Tommy, that's a fairly facetious question. And if I ever find out where you wrote this letter from, I'll come by and I'll kick the living shit out of you. <laughs> Sally Soprano writes, I am tired of those damn Sasquatches ruining all of my maize crops. What can I do to prevent another attack? Well, Sally, always just remember Castiglione. Call a Sasquatchologist to investigate gargantuan limbed intruders offering no explanation. You see, that's called a mnemonic device. It's simple and easy to remember. And that way, you'll never be caught off guard by one of those Sasquatch intrusions again. Luckily, for you, the viewer at home, there are many signs to be able to tell whether you've had a Sasquatch encounter. In fact, were you aware that over 80% of people who have reported encounters with the creature have reported dine and dashes? That's right, dine and dashes. You see, many Sasquatches will take you out to the fanciest restaurant in town, and then after the filet mignon, or whatever fancy expensive meal they can order, they'll pretend that they're going to the bathroom and stick you with the bill. My friends, do not fall victim to the oldest trick in the book. Many people ask me, Sparkson, you're a filmmaker, and you're also very into Sasquatch. How is it that all of the footage you've got of the creature that proves its existence can't explain anything about its behavioral patterns, its eating habits, anything like that? Don't ask me, how should I know? My footage of Andrew Lassa of the creature was mediocre at best. But don't be fooled. You see, my footage is still the best known evidence there is of the creature at all. Just because we're just because we're in my backyard doesn't make that any less legitimate of a statement. Well, that looks like about all the time we had for today. I've answered about as many of these questions as I can possibly bear. But I do want to thank you, the viewer, for sending these questions and concerns in. Because let's face it, we're in this together. Alright? The Bigfoot problem isn't going to go away on its own. So it's our duty to remain informed, to do our best to get rid of it. And with that, I just want to say stay vigilant. I hope that this has been informative. And I'll see you next time. This is Sparkson of Sparkson and Clarkson signing off.